my name is Z, and today we are talking about the interface. One thing I always praise Harmony for is how flexible it is. It's like a giant sandbox, one tool or feature that you use a certain way, I might use it for something completely different. A good example of such features, or tool, are the Apply To buttons. Located right here in the Select Tools options in the Tool Properties, these little buttons are pretty useful. They allow you to choose whether you want your next action to be applied to your current frame, to all the frames in your timeline, or even to a certain range of your onion skin. To activate it, simply click on it, and the next thing you're gonna do with either your select tool or your paint bucket or most of your drawing tools will affect all the other frames in the timeline. So I'm gonna show you right here. I'm gonna take that beautiful Ali animation and take all of the line arts, for example, and move them a little bit like this. So you see, I moved uh, the line art, and now if I play my animation, it did it on all of my frames. Of course, usually to do that, you would just put your line art on a peg, but you know, I'm just looking for examples right here. <laughs> you can also set it to your onion skin range. So if I go here and I set my onion skin to something, maybe like the three <laughs> drawings that are here. If I go here and select my apply to onion skin range, the next thing I'm gonna do with my select tool will only affect these three drawings. And now if I go through my animation, the line art is weird only on the three drawings that were included in my onion skin range. So the different tools you can use with the apply to buttons are usually the select tool, the cutter tool, and the different paint buckets. Maybe there's more, but I, who knows. So I know these examples are pretty stupid, but let me show you some real advantages of using these cool little buttons. So this tool can be used in many different ways. So let's say I have this little spider. Oh wow, it's wearing a crown, jumping around. And I want to put some effects on it. So let's say that I animated some uh, web coming out of his spider butt. Well, maybe I want this whole thing to be white, um, but the black color is already used on another character. So I cannot just change that color. So what I'm gonna do instead is just have a new color right here. I'm just gonna repaint all my frames at once. So to repaint all your frames at once, you go inside your tool, Properties, options here, you select apply to all frames, and then you go get your bucket. I'm gonna set it to repaint, and it will just repaint all of my frames. Same goes for uh, line art. So if I had this line art right here, and I want to repaint it a whole different colors, then I can just go get another color and just repaint all my frames. Another cool thing to do with the apply to all frame is to get your select tool. And let's say I want to change the to change the way my frames look. You can just get your select tool, make a selection like this, and you see it's gonna select. Oops, I'm on the wrong layer. It's gonna select all your frames at once. So let's say I want this to be pushed a little bit like that. You can then transform all your frames at once. So in effects animation, this is very very cool to maybe like try to stretch them like this, and then you get your. So instead of having my little clouds here going sideways, like they were before, you can have them go up like that. I love to play with, with my effects this way. It's really, really cool. Another cool thing to do is to paint multiple frames across your timeline. So I'm gonna get rid of this little spider. I'm gonna bring back Ali. I'll go in my color art, select apply to all frames, select my body color right here. And then if I click here, if any other frames are under that specific location, they're gonna get painted as well. Of course, when you're using this method, you just have to make sure that you're not coloring frames that you did not want. Uh, for these little frames like that, it's okay. You can just turn it off and paint these frames by hand if you have some frames that are special. But here we have a perfect example of how the onion skin can actually be useful. So instead of using the apply to all frame, which I use for my animation more than my painting, I'm gonna go get apply to onion skin range. So you see my Ali here is standing pretty still for all the beginning of the animation and she only moves toward the end here and she stays very static. So my animation is kind of divided in two with that frame. So I'm gonna go grab my four first frame here with my onion skin. Gonna go get my bucket, my body color, and I'm gonna click here. It also works if you make a line like this. Everything that touches that line will get painted. So you see it's very easy to paint most of your animation using this method. I'm gonna do the same with the ending here. And I can even keep the same onion skin and I'm just gonna go and paint my different frames.
another great use of that feature is if you have your animation and you need to create your cover art from your line art, what you can do is just go get your select tool, simply click on apply to all frames, and you don't even need to select anything. You just have to press on the create cover art from line art button. And there you go, you'll get your color art created on all your drawings at once. And then if I need to paint that ball jumping around, it's so easy, you just go get your bucket, make sure I'm with apply to all frames, go get a color, and just make a big selection like that, and everything inside that selection will get painted. That's pretty cool, right? <laughs> Little disclaimer, when you turn that feature on, sometimes you can do some dangerous things. So if you're trying to like paint only uh, this frame and you go something like that and then you paint all your other frames by mistake uh, this is not fun so the team made a really cool thing right here that is there to protect you so it's big it's red it's called apply to all frames so at least when you see it you know that you are using this button same thing for the apply to onion skin range so i hope you had fun and that you learned a bunch and i'll see you next week with another video